Rain Wilson once said that his parents would lock him in a vending machine if they couldn't find a babysitter. Sadly, that might be the least bizarre story from his life. When Rain Wilson appeared on Stephen Bartlett's The Diary of a CEO, he shared a lot, and at the same time, he shared very little. When asked to specify what trauma he had suffered in his childhood, he understandably declined to get into specifics, but he did tell a few stories. When Bartlett asked Wilson to talk about some of his earliest memories and life-defining moments, Wilson revealed that his mother abandoned him to the care of his father when he was about 18 months old. With his father, he was raised as a devout follower of the Baha'i Faith, a religion that believes all world religions follow the same God, who is guiding humankind on a path to the creation of a utopian society. Peace, acceptance, clean living, and a belief in the word of divine messengers are all key. When he was three years old, his father, who was a writer and a painter, moved them to the Nicaraguan jungle. Here was this abandoned kind of toddler kid living in the, literally the jungle. In an interview with USA Today, he described the area as, quote, filled with monkeys and jungles and gun runners and coke dealers. He also said that was where he, at four and a half years old, had the unthinkably awful experience of having a 10-inch roundworm squirm out of him. Awful doesn't even begin to cover it. Wilson and his family ended up moving to Seattle about the time he started kindergarten. In his interview on the diary of a CEO, he got candid about how the two wildly different sides of his home life impacted him. Even though his family's faith taught ideas of love, prayer, and meditation, what he experienced at home was the opposite of those teachings. And we're reading holy scripture from all over the world and talking about love, and yet here's this loveless shell of a house. He explained that it wasn't just the mixed messages, adding that the only emotion he recalled being exposed to was anger, adding, I experienced a lot of pain in my life and a lot of suffering with anxiety and depression and addiction, and I can pin that squarely on a lot of gross imbalances and trauma that I suffered as a child. Although he hasn't revealed too many specific details from his childhood, he has dropped a few hints over the years. For example, in 2006, he told Maxim that when his parents needed to leave the house, they would sometimes put him in a locked vending machine so he couldn't get himself into any dangerous situations. He added, but there was plenty of food. It's great if you can't find a babysitter. In 2008, Rain Wilson spoke with the University of Washington magazine about his relatively newfound success as an actor and gave some insight that's equal parts frightening and sobering. For those looking to get into acting, he said that he struggled and lived at the poverty line for about 10 years before getting his break. When he shared more about his post-college living situation on the diary of a CEO, it was dire stuff. Just after college, he and a friend were living in an abandoned brewery that they shared with a number of rats. There was no heat, no shower, and few prospects. The occasional acting job came his way, but there was nothing that was going to help him improve his lot in life. In an interview with Sounds True, Wilson said that many of the problems he had while he was living in New York post-college were rooted in his upbringing. Even though he found himself getting acting jobs and starting to get a foot in the door, he wasn't fulfilled. He said, at the same time, I was very unhappy. I was deeply unhappy in my life. I was getting into a lot of trouble with drugs and alcohol. I think we live in a state of, you know, uh, of struggle and anxiety and dissatisfaction, chronic dissatisfaction. New York City was different from anything he'd experienced before, and he says that at the time he was sorely unprepared for the real world. Rain Wilson has openly shared his experiences with depression and anxiety over the years. Talking to Stephen Bartlett on the Diary of a CEO, he said that at one point, his anxiety attacks got so bad that he believed they were going to kill him. It ended up being so debilitating that it led him down the road of depression. He explained, Circumstances provided the perfect environment for kind of a mental health breakdown of someone who's 25 years old. Wilson said that he found himself struggling with his mental health for five or six years, and said that even though he started getting more acting jobs, became involved with the woman who would become his wife, and things started looking up in many respects, it wasn't enough. Wilson stresses that things were very different in the 1990s, and therapy wasn't something that the average person tended to consider. He told Parade that he did eventually start therapy after self-medication with drugs and alcohol made his problems even worse. Hearing celebrities candidly talk about their darkest moments is invaluable for countless other people who are struggling. Wilson has made it a part of his mission to not just open up about his own struggles, but his journey beyond them. He spoke on the Rich Roll podcast about the point early in his career when he was depressed and highlighted the question he kept coming back to, why? Why am I waking up at three in the morning just like staring at the wall? Why am I considering suicide? Like Wilson differentiated between pondering meaning in life and pondering the ending of life and ultimately used that experience to reach out to help others. He founded media company Soul Pancake in the hopes of opening up tough conversations. 
Right. Let's try and create a community of people that are sharing work together, that are talking about life's big questions. That's what I felt oh, was missing. Good. I love it's possible that of all the characters on The Office, Dwight Schrute is the most relatable, and Wilson knows how much the show did for his career. There are countless aspiring actors out there, and if you ask almost any of them if they'd be happy with a starring role in a hit sitcom, it's safe to assume that the answer would be yes. But when Rain Wilson spoke about his time on The Office with Stephen Bartlett on The Diary of a CEO, he admitted that he'd been anything but happy while filming. Instead, he said that for several years, he was deeply unfulfilled. Part of it came from a fear that he was going to be typecast. The few movie roles he did get didn't boost his career like he'd hoped, and he found himself wondering if this was the end of the road for him. At the same time, he knew that he should be happy about his success. And in a vicious cycle, that just made everything even worse. It's my greatest dream come true. Welcome to the hotel hell. Check-in time is now, check-out time is never. He explained, There were times on The Office that I really struggled because I really wasn't happy. I spent a lot of time, unnecessary time, and angst and anguish in that anxious discontent. At a time when I should have just been like, this? It doesn't get better than this. Enjoy it. Wilson says there's an important lesson to be learned from him. Don't wait until you've made it to be happy, because there's no guarantee that an arbitrary end goal will make happiness instant. He learned that the hard way. Isn't that right, princess? In 2021, Rain Wilson posted a heartbreaking update to his Facebook page. He shared that he had said goodbye to a beloved friend. Director David Von Anken had died at 56 years old after being diagnosed with stomach cancer. Wilson wrote, When he got diagnosed and pretty much knew it was a death sentence, I'll never forget him saying to me, It's just static, Rain. Most of our lives, just static, just noise. You've got to cut out the static, get to what's important. And that he did. I miss him already. When he spoke about it on the diary of a CEO, he said that the diagnosis had been shocking, sudden, and unforeseen. And at the time, Von Aiken was already in stage four. I mean, just like out of nowhere, mid fifties and uh, essentially a death sentence. While tragic, Wilson was able to solace in the fact that he could at least see his friend often in the final days. The death of a parent is difficult to imagine until one experiences it firsthand. And in several 2023 interviews, Rain Wilson spoke about the loss of his father three years prior. Speaking on the diary of a CEO, he shared that the official cause of his father's death was heart disease and that they hadn't expected him to die when he underwent a quadruple bypass. He said, we thought he was going to get through the surgery and he died. We knew it was risky, but it was not a predicted death. Wilson said that he was faced with making the decision to take his father off of life support after the surgery failed. Although he's spoken openly about childhood trauma and abuse, he also said that in that moment, he saw everything that he loved about his father too. He was 79 and it was really heartbreaking and devastating, and um, but it put a lot of things in perspective. If you or someone you know needs help with mental health or is struggling or in a crisis, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. 